wise grandfather. Lord Ishiness. It's a wonder he is still with us. A miracle. Is that so? Divine heir, I'll ask you once more. Accept me into your mortal oath. I cannot do that, Lord Genichiro. Your victory that day means nothing. He will risk his life to take me home. For he is my shinobi. My lord, I have come for you. This... will only take a moment. Face me, Shinobi.
me. Shinobi.
You were victorious. I see. Are you? I mean you no harm. Shinobi of the Divine A... Lord Kenichiro, is this the rejuvenating waters? Ah, Shina. This land is everything to me. For her sake. I will shed humanity itself. Resurrection. Yes. Come for you, my lord. Yes, you did well to come here. Let us go. We must leave Ashina. Wolf, my blood. The blood of the dragon causes men to become undying. The same goes for you. Yes, my lord. I wish to save you. I'm sure that I would do the same thing given another chance. However, undying begets stagnation. The immortal oath. The rejuvenating waters, the dragon rot, they all corrupt men to the point that they no longer live as men. I wish to sever the chains of stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Wolf, will you help me achieve this aim? Father, I cannot break the Iron Code. I cannot. To protect you, the Divine Heir. That was the duty my father entrusted to me. How many times have you died and come back to life for my sake? Two? Three times? Or perhaps a number so large that it cannot be counted? As it was for the purpose of defending my lord, the number does not matter. I do not wish to bind you to an eternity of undeath, Wolf. Join me in my quest to sever the ties of immortality. As you wish. Thank you, loyal wolf. If we are seeking to sever the immortal ties, wolf. It's an ancient record that was kept. Sacred. Yes. It is my belief that with the Dragon Tears, it may be possible to sever the Dragon's heritage. But... the Divine Realm? How do we... I know. Wolf, that incense burner over there, it belonged to a... person of interest. Take a look. Is there something special about it? I'm told that long ago, there was another divine heir living here in Ashina Castle. His name was Lord Takeru. This incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died a long time ago, apparently. Wrapped in the aroma of the fountainhead, I returned to the divine realm. Those are supposedly the words he left behind. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead is the key to reaching the divine realm? That is my belief, Wolf. 
Let us discover the truth together. Now, as to how we begin our search, I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf, come with me. Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi. But I imagine that won't be a problem for you. I've heard the Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes. So if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, and you can use this window to reach the roof. in this castle keep. He is in one of the separate watchtowers, but Lord Ishin is not well, which is why entry into his tower is not allowed.
about the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Sake. What? You earned it. Take it. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. <laughs> the bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? You're... So what do you wish to know? The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The mortal blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The mortal blade? With it, you could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die? The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. <laughs> if the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. Hmm. To kill a monster such as that, you'd need the mortal blade. Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Senpo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just here, sir. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate, and you lose. Returned. Oh, Wolf, you're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said, the mortal blade, it could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade? It's a sword that has the power to kill the undying. It can be found at Senpo Temple. I see. Yes, that seems promising. As you say. For my part, 
I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. My lord, this is for you. Could this be? It's a Sakura droplet. That's... When the Undying Pledge of the Dragon's Heritage is broken, it's said that this remains in place of the Oath. Do you think this one was left behind by Lord Takeru? That seems likely, Wolf. If you so desire, I can use this Sakura droplet to assist you. If you should be so kind. Of course. Close your eyes. My lord. Lord Takeru's dragon blood lives on with you. I humbly accept. Yes. You may open your eyes now. My lord. That was a boon, granted by Lord Takeru. Use it well. Yes. A flower. First, read this. Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the Fountainhead Aroma, and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the Fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the Fountainhead Aroma. A place where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes, indeed. The sunken valley may be the place the fountainhead waters should flow into there. Where is this sunken valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the white serpent deep in the woods. As the name implies, the sunken valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. Oh, that's right. That door marked with the outline of a person. Lord Ishin once called it a shinobi shortcut. I haven't a clue how it works, but seeing as he mentioned shinobi, I thought you might know.
You're here. Need something? The Divine Heir. <laughs> you saved him. That has nothing to do with me. It does. You have my thanks. Hmm. The shadow in your eyes. It's become a shade lighter. What? No matter. So, you need something? Barrel. So many possibilities. I can use various purifying agents to further hone that fang of yours. So if you find something of that sort, be sure to bring it my way. So, friend, you a shinobi or what? That's right. Thought so. In that case, I've got information that might pique your interest. Surely a shinobi like you understands the value of good information. Until next time, friend.